Hello everyone. In this video, I will teach you how to create an interior mapping shader in Unity for the Universal Render Pipeline and use the shader graph. Interior mapping is a technique used to simulate floors and buildings without having the actual geometries. I will follow the technique provided in the research paper by Joseph and Donchen and I will explain how the mathematics is working. Let's take a cube on which we want to render the interior map effect. Based on the research paper, every pixel on the cube displayed on the screen is linked to the imaginary walls located behind it. As illustrated in the diagram, a ray is projected from the camera view towards the object's vertex point whose pixel is being rendered. The color of the pixel is determined by the color on the wall where the projected ray intersects. To ensure accuracy, we need to verify if the ray intersects with each wall including the top, bottom, left and right sides. The wall that has a minimum distance between the pixel and the intersecting point is then selected. Create a new project with the URP template from the Unity Hub. Create a shader graph by going to the shader graph URP lift shader graph. Let me import a HLSL script that I have already written and explain to you how it works. Here are the two functions, check if closer function and uh, the interior mapping function. The interior mapping function is the main function with several input parameters. The object view direction represents the direction of the ray that is projected from the viewing camera to the object's pixel point. The object pose is the object space position of the pixel point. Room count is the number of rooms that we want to render on the cube. Sampler state represents the type of the sampler we are using to sample the texture. Then we also get six textures for each wall planes as inputs. We can get these textures as single cube map texture, but to make the code simple and clear, I am getting them individually. Finally, there is an output parameter called color and distance of float for type, uh, which stores RGB color value of the pixel in the first three components and the distance between the pixel point and the wall intersection point in the fourth component. Within the function, first I am normalizing the ray direction then translating the ray position a little inside the cube so that our ray will always inter intersect with the imaginary walls behind the cube surface. The color and distance is initialized with the maximum distance value in the W component. Then we have wall distance variable, which is one by room count. We have then initialized the three constant direction vectors, the up vector, forward vector, and right vector. Here we have several if-else conditions where each section is estimating the color and distance value for each wall. The check if closer function uh, within each section returns the color and distance value for that specific wall. This wall is determined by the dot product of the constant vector and the ray direction. For example, if the dot product of the up vector and the ray direction is greater than zero, then it is a roof or else it is a floor. Similarly, the dot product with the forward vector and the right vector is used to determine the front or back wall and the left or right walls respectively. Let's see how the checkup closer function is working. First, we are calculating the distance from the ray star position, which is the pixel point to the wall uh, intersection point. The formula is dot product of the plane pose minus ray star pose and the plane normal divided by the dot product of plane normal and the ray direction. Then we calculate the ray wall intersection point position. We declare a float to variable i pose which will be used as a UV coordinate for the uh, for sampling the wall plane texture. Here I'm checking if it is x plane or y plane or z plane and assigning the corresponding UV value to the y pose. Then I am checking if the current distance between the pixel point and the intersection point of the wall is less than the previous value stored in the W component of the color distance. Then replace the previous value with the current one. Also, I am sampling the pixel color from the corresponding wall or plane texture using the I pose as UV coordinate and assigning it to the RGB values of the color distance. Let's move on to the shader graph implementation. First, create a custom function node. Open the graph inspector and give the name of the custom function. The function name is interior mapping and the spelling should be same as we have in the HLS script. Attach a HLS script file to the source. Let's create the inputs and output parameter of the interior mapping function. Make sure the names are correct and with the correct data type. Let me change the preview window object from the sphere to cube. Now we should assign the input values to our custom node. Create the six input textures of type texture 2D on the blackboard and assign them. Assign the color and distance output to the fragment shader base color. For sampler state input, use the sampler state node. For object view direction, use the view direction node. In the documentation, it is given that it is the direction from the vertex point to the camera, but what we want is the opposite direction from the camera to the vertex. So to reverse the vector, 
multiply it with the negative node for object pose input use a position node one thing i want to mention is that make sure nodes are in the object space as all our calculations are in object space finally assign a fourth value to the room count input the main preview shows a white cube as we haven't assigned the default textures in the graph inspector let me input into my project some primitive textures with the numbers 1 to 6 this is to help you easily visualize which numbers or which number texture goes to which side of the wall assign these textures to the texture inputs in the graph inspector for room count give the default value to 2 and see the main preview wow our shader is working fantastically it is giving the appearance of the walls inside our cube with two cluster rooms you can see the top is 1, bottom is 2, left is 4, the other side is 3, the front is 5, and the back is 6. Let us visualize the same in the scene, create a cube in the scene. Create material for the interior mapping shader. The material will have the default textures as we have set in the graph inspector. Just drag and drop this material to the cube and see the magic. The single cube has transferred into uh, multiple floors and walls. To have a 4 plus 4 room, just increase the room count to 4. So far we have done only the interior texture, but we need to add an exterior texture to make our building complete. Let me import into the project a new set of building textures that I have already created. I have the textures for the exterior building, the floor, the ceiling, and each wall. I will replace the default textures with my material and these new textures. To add the exterior texture along with the interior texture in our shader graph, first create a sample texture to the node. In the texture input, assign the building texture. Assign the output to the base color of the fragment shader. What we want is for us should be able to see the interior mapping through the window. For that, all we need is an alpha mask that indicates the window area. You can see in the Photoshop that I have created an alpha channel that will be stored in the A component of the RGBA value. Create a lurk node. Assign the exterior texture to A and the interior texture to B and the alpha to T. This lurk node will switch between the exterior and the interior texture based on the alpha value. Now assign this lurk output to the base color. Now we got our expected result. Now the window is completely transparent, but I want the window to be slightly opaque when viewed in an angular direction. For that, create a funnel effect node, take one minus of it and multiply it with the alpha. Now it looks better. But there is one correction to be done. Uh, since there are uh, four rooms, multiply the UV coordinate of the exterior texture, uh, exterior texture sampler with the room count and uh, get the correct texture map. Finally, we visualize the same in our scene. Super. Thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe to my channel to help grow the channel. I will see you in my next video.